In this example, we want to determine if the vector B is a linear combination of the vectors formed from the columns of the matrix A. Okay, so in other words, okay, we have uh, for the matrix A, uh, we have the we have three vec column vectors that form this this matrix. Okay, so let's call this. I'm going to call the first column. I'm just going to call this V1. And we're going to call this V2. And let's say this is V3. Okay, and these are all vectors. Okay, so each of each of the vectors is a column vector here. And then we have vector B. Okay. All right. So we want to find out if B, right, if the vector B can be uh, written as a linear combination of V1, V2, and V3. So in other words, okay, we have uh, x. So x x1 is the scalar value. So x1 times v1 plus x2 times v2, okay, plus x3 times v3, okay, equals to b. Okay. So if b can be expressed as a, as a linear combination of v1, v2, and v3, right? Uh, that means we can go ahead. That means that we would have a solution here. Okay, we would find the values for x1, x2, and x3. So that's what we need to figure out. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to form our system. Okay, we're going to augment the matrix A and B together. Okay, so we have one, negative four, two, zero, three, five, minus two, eight, and four. And I'm going to go ahead and augment vector B, okay. So augment the matrix A with vector B. So we have 3 minus 7 and minus 3. All right, so let's, we're going to put this into, um, into echelon form, okay. So we're going to do that by using the row operations. So we can start by taking, uh, we have a zero in the second row and first column. So what we can do is we can take and multiply two, okay, take two times row one and add it to row three and then store the result in row three, okay. Okay, so we have two times row one plus row three and store that result in row three, okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to get, so row one doesn't change. Okay. So we have zero, three, five, negative seven. So row two doesn't change. Okay. And then for row three, we're going to get, so we have two times one, which is two, minus two, that's gonna give us zero. Uh, we have two times negative four, which is negative eight, plus eight, that's gonna give us zero. And we have two times two is four, plus four, that's gonna give us eight, okay? And then two times three, that's gonna give us six, and then six minus three is gonna give us three, okay? So from here, we can actually go ahead and uh, we can use backward substitution to uh, to solve for x1, x2, and x3, okay? So I'm going to call this, this is equation 1 here, 2, and 3, okay? So from the third, right, from the third part, we have, uh, this is just going to be, we have uh, 8 times, x3 equals to 3. So that means x3 is going to be equal to 3 eighths. Okay. All right, so the second equation, we have 3 times x2 plus 5 times x3 equals to minus 7. Okay. 
So we know x3 is 3 eighths. Okay, so we have 3 times x2 plus 5 times 3 eighths equals to negative 7. So I just substitute x3 back into here. And then from there, we can solve for x2. Okay, so that's going to give us... Okay, so solving for x2, okay, so that's going to give us negative 71 over 21. Uh, negative 71 over 24. Okay. Okay, and then using equation 1, okay, we have so x1 minus 4x2 plus 2x3 equals to 3. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, we have x1 minus 4 times x2. Okay, so x2 was negative 71 over 24. And then plus 2 times x3, x3 was 3 eighths. And this is going to be equal to 3. So solving for x1, okay, we're going to end up getting minus 115 over 12. Okay. All right, so we have our uh, we have our solution. Okay, so we have x1. We have x2. And we have x3. Okay. All right, so then from there now, so we have our solution. So therefore we have the, um, well, we have our linear combination, okay? So that means our vector B, okay? So the vector B can be represented by this linear combination. So we have minus 115 over 12 times V1 minus 71 over 24 times V2 plus 3 eighths okay, so plus 3 eighths times V3 is equal to the vector B. Okay, so those are those are the solutions and therefore B can be represented as a linear combination okay, of V1, V2, and V3. Okay, so that is, okay. so that is, again, that is our, uh, that is our solution here.